Alrighty. What happens here? Good morning, everyone. I know there's not many people here right now because I didn't broadcast this much. And I'm just trying to see if popping in like this is the thing that people do. There we go. There's that. And uh, popping in like this is the thing that people do. Use me for that sound there. Yeah. All right, good morning, good morning. It's waiting to see how this goes. I think I should probably let me try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One here. Hello, Peppy. That's my cat, Pepper. All righty. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I just decided to um, do a little live chat this morning and, um, it's good to see you, Fisher Fun Ventures. How are y'all doing this morning? Hope you're doing well. I just opened this up, so um, there's not too many people yet because I was kind of, it's not like a planned one. I didn't even advertise it. I just decided I was going to go live all of a sudden. Um, I don't know if that's the greatest idea in the world that I've had, but hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Anyone that's um, in that is watching, just feel free to say hello. Um, it looks like there is another person watching. Oh, hi. Uh, hi, Griswold Family Vacay. Uh, I was just doing this, um, I guess, because I just felt like doing a live. Um, I was kind of bored too and uh, everything so and i wanted to try this out um so yep y'all see my junk over there um next to in my kitchen <laughs> messy oh goodness oh well it's fine uh yeah i'm doing this for my recliner this is the recliner show <laughs> all right so um what I was going to do is um, I was going to I'm going on a cruise in November on Carnival um, and it's going to be on Carnival Vista and I was going to look at the fun shop this morning um, I haven't seen a lot of people like actually look at the fun shop and talk about it so I'm going to share my screen and um, we're going to talk about this fun shop and uh maybe uh i don't know how many of you've been on carnival or whatnot um 
need that thing to move out of my way. Hold on. Let me fix the screen here. All right. Let do do. Um. Okay. I need that thing to close. Oh, here we go. All right, share. All right. So, will y'all let me know if y'all can see this? Because this is something I'm just kind of sort of trying out. Can y'all see the Carnival Fun Shop um, on your screen there? Can you, uh, you see it pretty good? Except I need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Now I know it's working. That's good. Okay. So this is how I'm just going to go through. Uh, some of y'all may have looked at the fun shop before. If you haven't, I'm going to show you about it. So you come to the carnival.com site. Um, and then once you um, come to there, you go to manage. Um, if you already have a booking with them. Uh, if not, you could just look up the um, gifts and shopping and it'll come up that way for you. But if you already have a booking with Carnival, then you would come to in-room gifts and shopping and you would just click on that. And so excuse my um, slowness of my screens here. So here we are. Um, at the fun shop here's all the different categories they got it looks like they got gifts and stateroom decor they got cruise cash internet plans drink packages food and beverages a spa and salon shore excursions and specialty dining and they've got even a Pixels photo package. Uh, faster to the fun, it does have a button here, but I've heard that they're going to be making some changes about that. So we'll see. I'm going to look at that too. And then they have airport transfers. So I'm just going to go through and kind of look at this because, uh, as I said, I have a cruise coming up and I kind of wanted to see about the fun shop. So I'm going to look at the gifts for the stateroom first. And if any of y'all have something you're interested in me diving deep into when you're looking, uh, please let me know. I'm looking on my phone at y'all's comments uh, and I will do that as well. So let's look here. We got, to, looks like there's beach towels, um, mermaid bottles. I don't care much about that too much. Um, the wine glasses are cute. That's awful high for some wine glasses. Just my opinion there. Is there more? Let's see what it all is included. That's $29. That's, it's got to be more than just wine glasses, right? I would hope. Let's see. No, it's just wine glasses. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting that. <laughs> Oh, me. Let's see here. Have any of y'all um, been on Carnival Cruise Lines and bought things from the fun shop? That's a good question to ask you guys while I'm looking through here as well. There's a cutting board. Interesting. Pouches. I do like these um, these decorative things. But I, I've um, wondered, could I not take my own decorations and be a lot cheaper than $29.95? Um, that's, I mean, for, excuse me, $49.95. Seems like that's a lot for some decorations. I'll hit more details on this. This is a Bon Voyage celebration package it includes a cake so you would pick what cake flavor you want let's see oh here we go here we go so it's decorations 
Uh, it has a chocolate cake with a mousse filling. It serves six people. And a picture frame. It looks like a magnet hanging banner. That's the little danglers and stuff that was hanging down. A picture frame it includes a beach towel as well. Um, mm, that's still, man, that's 50 bucks though. So it includes your decorations, cake. A beach towel. Yeah, the candy shop. Yeah, um, they sell some candy, um, that you can have sent to your room. I do know that. Um, oh, that's cute. It's a fun shot glass set. That's a cute little shot glass set. Let's see here. It has three different silicone bandings, shot glasses. It's just three shot glasses. Woo. Y'all, I'm just saying. Look. <laughs> but um, I guess if you're if you're wanting to just have fun and not worry about it. If you plan ahead, then having these little things on your cruise kind of add to your your cruise uh, a little bit. I have bought some things. When we went before, um, I purchased uh, Stephen a thing of beer, and it, it came in a it came in a, like a cooler set. It was a cooler, and it had a six pack of beer. I think it was six pack of beer and um, that was in our room ready to go. And um, they even the, the person that was doing our room, they put uh, ice in it um, and had it like ready where you could actually use it. Um, so that was cool. I thought. Oh, here's something that they got some uh, Dr. Seuss gear. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Griswold family for kids like the Dr. Seuss or not, but they do have, um, looks like they have a round beach blanket. They should have like a picture on this side too for $14. That's not too bad. I mean, you go to Walmart, sometimes some of their towels are like $14, $15. That's not bad for towels, I don't think. They got birthday gear. It's just cool. Oh, this is cute. If kids like unicorns, there's unicorn stuff. Y'all add to this is whatever you... Um, if you want me to look up a certain thing in the fun shop, tell me and I will. I'm just, I'm just cruising it. And I thought, well, I can show people while I'm looking myself. This is kind of how I shop sometimes. I just kind of cruise through. Look at this. They're selling water. A floating waterproof phone case. So I guess wouldn't you buy that before you went? But black, blue, white, pink waterproof case for iPhones fits HTC, Samsung, and there's a whole list there. Galaxy, Blackberry, iPhones. Interesting. Um, I think you would buy that before you went, but maybe maybe someone forgot. or I don't know if you can. Well, I guess you could probably buy it when you're on the ship. I don't know. I have to look that up. There's snorkel sets for kids here, it looks like. They have a lot of stuff. Let's see. Let's go back. They got category page here. Okay, so y'all see these categories on the page here. There's short excursions, um, spas, salons, cruise cash, um, drink packages. Are, um, please tell me um, in chat here, is there any of these that interest you guys that you would like me to look at for you? And I will um, I'll look at them for you. Um, any of these right here you see, the internet plan, specialty dining, pixel studio, dream studio, 
fly to fun drink packages, airport transfers, um, gifts, stateroom decor, food and beverages. I, I did a lot of the food and beverage stuff um, when we were on our cruise um, because I wanted to like have everything we needed in the room uh, in case we forgot something or um, sometimes I don't feel great and I'm tired and I want I need to go back to my room and lay down because it's been a long day and I like to have water and certain things in in there that we can have without having to like go get it so um that's one thing i don't see anyone saying anything so i'll just go ahead and pull up something uh yeah i don't see do y'all see anything that interests you that you would like to look at or i'll just look at something just wanted to make sure i include you guys I don't see any suggestions, so I'm going to look at uh, in-room food and beverages. I do want to look at the drink packages, too. Um, and what I would like to look at, because um, our cruise coming up i might want to have someone in the room um, we're going with some folks and we might do a little bar crawl or something who knows so griswold family says that uh, we always buy water to have in the room uh does it say anything about does it say anything about having baby yoda at the build-a-bear oh build-a-bear okay um that would be under like more of like what's on the ship or i would think um let's see Does i have a search let me check something here hi blaine just um we're looking at the fun shop this morning um just for kids i'd say that would be under the kids if there was any build a bear um type of thing but let's see there's some stuffed animals or unicorn uh, i'm looking here Hi, Vizos Travel. Welcome. Uh, we're looking at the fun shop today and Carnival's website here. I don't see any kind of Build-A-Bear stuff other than some plushies on the on the shop, but I can look. Um, let's see. Search. Site. Build-A-Bear. Uh, let's see. Uh, build a bear Yoda. Fine. I put in build a bear Yoda to see if anything come up. Hi, nautical nurse Nancy. We're just looking at Carnival site, and someone asked to look at the build a bear to see if they had a Yoda or something. Build a bear workshop. Here's Build a Bear Workshop Cash. Here's Build a Bear Workshop at C. Um, let's see here. Build a Bear Kids Workshop. All right. Let's look. Let's look at Build a Bear. Oh, we're looking at Build a Bear here for the Griswolds. Let's see. It doesn't give tons of info let's see here doesn't really um give much info on the build a bear there let's see here but what we can do we can google it <laughs> or bing it um does carnival uh, 
Cruise Line. Have Yoda. Oops, not Yado. Yoda and Build a Bear. I'll look it up for you and then we'll go back to the shop again. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. We're looking at Carnival's uh, Fun Shop, but also it looks like a, we're going to look at the Build a Bear to see uh, if they have any information about what might be available. Um, because Griswolds was wanting to know about that. I don't know if I can find stuff about the Yoda or not because it's just very basic information here. Um, cruise Credit has a little information, it looks like. I don't know if y'all ever look at Cruise Credit. I do. Um, cruise Credit is a site that has all sorts of stuff about cruising. So if y'all have not checked it out, it's pretty cool. I think they're talking about this penguin, though, mostly. Um, Carnival Cruise Line's partnership with Build-A-Bear Workshop. Let's see here. Oh, this is cool. You can get... Um, the ship offers six choices, ranging from white and pink bears to monkeys, dogs, sea turtles, bunnies, and cat in the hat because of their partnership with Dr. Seuss. So I don't know if they have a partnership. It doesn't look like they do. Um, they, it looks like they only offer um, just a certain amount of things um, on their ship right here. It says, I'll just highlight that for you. So there you go, Griswold. Um, of course, you can certainly dig a little deeper than me, um, but that's what I found there. So they probably can't offer everything because uh, Disney has a, a good hand on the uh, Star Wars gear and stuff too. I, um, but I know Build-A-Bear does have uh, partnerships too. Now you can research further. That's just what I found on that. We're going to go back over to the fun shop. Again, um, anyone in here that is interested in a certain item in side of the fun shop or uh, wanting to know more about one of the categories that the fun shop has, um, let me know and I will look at that for you. Um, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me see. I'm going to look at some of the chat for a second here. Um, I said hello to Vizos and Blaine and Nurse Nancy and Tammy. It's, it's good to have all you guys. I am, I'm, again, I'm going on a cruise with Carnival in November. And I was just, um, I was going to look through their shop. And I thought, well, I could just go online and show other people's stuff uh, as well. Um, Blaine, I hear, oh, you had a tire blowout or something, a tractor tire shredded. Well, I hope you can get that fixed. Uh, it's never a good thing to have to spin stuff like that. <laughs> Build a bear with a speedo and name it Mozo. That's funny. <laughs> They're all all talking about doing um the speedo challenge thing. That is funny. Speedos show the prices for liquor when you order in your cabin. That's awesome because that's what I was gonna look at myself. So cool. I'll do that for you, Nancy. Let me liquor. Well, I'm gonna do wine and champagne too, just because me and Steven um we are wine drinkers <laughs> all right let's see here we got sky vodka which i like 75 dollars i wonder how much you get um how big it is does it even say 40 ounces that's pretty big a uh, bottle of vodka uh let's see here and we got uh, the Where's White Label. 
I'm guessing that's some kind of whiskey. Beats me. That's 85. Um, I'm not going to say all these because I don't even know how to pronounce this. Chaza Dores Reposado or something like that. Reposada. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my. Um, absolute vodka. There's some scotch. Um, what's everybody's favorite types of liquor? Just out of, I, I'd like to know that. Um, I keep looking down because my phone has y'all's chat on it. Um, and I'm looking at it there because it's usually faster. That's a pretty bottle right there. I don't know what that is, but that bottle's pretty. Jim board. Black raspberry liquor. Wow. That's interesting. Raspberry liquor. Hey, that would be good, Nurse Nancy, in your um in your uh your shots you do, your jello shots. You could get some black raspberry liquor to put in there. That would be like delicious. You should think about that. Black raspberry liquor. Yum. That sounds good. I would try that. And the bottle is very pretty. It's a pretty bottle. Hondura Respado. There's some more whiskey. Rum. I don't see the kind of whiskey Stephen drinks. Um, Tito's Vodka. Oh, Stephen likes this. Kahlua. Let's see. What's this say here? All right. Let's see what y'all saying. The Grey Goose is a lot of money. Pepsi. Uh, I guess Pepsi. Yeah. Um, I know Papa Mozo likes Pepsi. And is it vodka? I don't know. What else does it say? Um, bar crawl vlog for collab with a friend. Mix vanilla rum with Mountain Dew. Stephen likes Kahlua a lot. They got Kahlua there. There's a Belvedere vodka. Ooh, Amaretto. Mm, some of this stuff is, sounds yummy. Yeah, they got rid of Coke. I like Coke better than Pepsi myself. Shh, don't get mad. <laughs> I'm a Coke fan. Mm. There's a black cognac. Does anyone, I'm just, there's Grey Goose, Nurse Nancy. It's $105. Um, I wonder if anyone, do y'all save your bottles? Like, are y'all, are any of y'all bottle savers that, like, if you find a cool bottle for your liquor that you like, once it's empty, do you save it or do you just get rid of it? I'm just curious if there's any bottle collectors. There's some tequila. Oh, that's a pretty bottle. Look at that bottle, guys. Y'all see that? That's a pretty bottle. I like that. What's that do? I don't know. I'm not going to push it. Uh, let's see here. So they got... Looks like they have several pages of alcohol. That's where they make a lot... Of, there's a Grey Goose Orange. Have any of y'all tried that? Grey Goose um, Orange? It's $105. But have you tried it, like, in general? Not necessarily, like, on Carnival. Um, Wayne said, oh, excuse me. Nancy said, it's all good. I was trying to show Raphael how expensive that was on board. It's much cheaper at the shop if you do a back to back. Uh, Blaine said, I like saving people's bottles. They are cool to put lights in them at Christmas and other crafty things. Oh, that's cool. I haven't thought about putting lights in them, but I, certain bottles I will save if they're like, look really neat um, and something different. 
Um, who would say who buys their alcohol in the shop online before they go or who goes to the shop on the boat and buys? I'd like to know that. You know, just tell me which you'd rather do. I see that someone said that they buy it on the shop, cheaper at the shop. Nurse Nancy, so you buy it on the ship? Is that when you get your alcohol stuff? On the ship, or do you pre buy it? Wine vodka. Oh, I'll go look at the the um. You want? Are you talking about like drinking on board, like the the big packages? I'll look at that. Now this is for um, my selling in November, so I think, like, say if you go next year, that could be higher or lower or whatever. Um, oh, okay. At the shop is tax free, but they only let you take it with you on the last night. Oh, so you can't like use it while you're on the cruise. They make you wait till the last day to get it. Yeah. See, um. I was thinking about like the bar crawls and stuff where you have alcohol in your room. So you buy the, when you're doing the bar crawls, I, I would guess that you, you purchase it ahead of time since you can't drink it if you buy it at the shop. Okay. Um, Vizzy, I will look at that. Just give me one second and I will look at that for you. There's Jaeger Meister. Okay, sorry. Steven likes Fireball whiskey. There's Fireball. Ninety dollars. All right. Let me. There's one page left. Uh, is, uh, let me look at this last page, and then I'll look at that liquor package for you. Okay. <laughs> Just want to look at this last page here. Uh, Crown Royal whiskey. Steven likes that too. And French Jellico. That looks like. Does that not look like y'all? Look at that bottle. Does that kind of remind you of um, a Serp, uh, Aunt Jemima Serp? That bottle right there of French Jellico. <laughs> it reminds me of Aunt Jemima. It just needed like her little head right there. So, um, let me read some of these. All right. Uh, let's see. Nancy, I've ordered some uh, My Card Lemonade to the cabin, but now they charge delivery fee on the top of the order, so it's not worth it. Fireball's $15 at the shop. Well, you can't use it, though, until you get off the ship. So, like, if you're doing a bar crawl, you can't. Uh, that stinks. <laughs> Well, that it's a uh, it's ninety dollars right here, <laughs> Nancy. Ninety dollars for Fireball if you buy it ahead of time. Uh, if you cruise out of Galveston, you can't start using the Cheers pack. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, till day two. Yeah, but you can still you can buy um liquor or you can buy drinks from what I've read. Um. <laughs> all right let's see here it's supposed to look like a religious monk i think oh that okay well it reminded me of aunt Mama. <laughs> oh okay so then the back to back you can take it or how's if you buy something on on a if you buy something on a ship and then you get on another ship. It go does it go over to? Do you get to use it on the ship if you go on the second one, Nancy? I'm sorry, I don't know. That was probably a confusing question. Okay, let's go back and look at the drink packages, which I'm going to look at anyways because that is something we are doing.
We're pulling that up. Let's see. Uh, Got to do back to back so you get it cheap. Wayne says, "Got a sneaky. Got to be sneaky like Nancy and do bar crawls." Yep. You take the liquor to your room, back to back. No, you stay on the same ship. That's back to back. If you change ships, it's a side to side. It's amazing how many shampoo bottles one person needs sometimes if you catch my drift. Uh. <laughs> oh, Chris Law family. That was funny. <laughs> All right. So here's we go. These are the packages right here. We got the bottomless buttle, buzz, buzzle. There's the bottomless buzzle, y'all. Bottomless bubble. And um, that looks like that's five ninety five per child, eight fifty per adult. Um, this is the one I'm interested in, the Cheers program, and I want to read more. Um, so me and Steven are definitely getting the Cheers program. Yes, <laughs> we are definitely getting it. So right now on my particular cruise. Uh, for November, it looks like it's fifty one ninety five per person. There's a a ten percent uh, versus onboard pricing by purchase before you sell. So you get a discount if you purchase before you sell. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the cart because I want to see um, what that looks like. Um, let's see here. I want to save and continue. I think. Can it, did it add it to my cart? I didn't see it do it. Uh, did I not do it right? Am I not signed in? Hold on, guys. Let's see. It says my name right there. Go away, advertiser. Okay, hold on, guys. I wanna. I wanted. I thought I was logged in. It's okay that y'all saw my email. I ain't worried about it. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I love you. Oh, uh, I'll put Stephen on. This is Stephen, y'all. I'm on a live stream right now, honey. Um, you are on live with me. You can say hi to everybody if you like. I got you on speakerphone. Um, I will call you back later, or you can call me when you get off from work. But um, you could just say hi to everybody. Nancy's here. Uh, Griswold family's here. Vizio's, Blaine. Uh, there's a, several people here. We're having a little live. Oh, okay. Will y'all keep it live? Because I don't want to catch you later. All right, Stephen. I love you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard him. He said, y'all keep it live, and we'll catch you later. <laughs> he calls me at lunchtime. Uh, that's something he does every day at work. So... All right, so this is for my particular cruise, and I'm leaving out of Galveston. So um, for mine, it looks like it's going to be um, uh, before taxes. It doesn't show that because I'd have to process it. But it's $735.62 for my particular. And as... as uh, Blaine said earlier begins the second day of the cruise and this is for two people this shows here the breakdown of how that works so um it's 51.95 and then it's for six days for both people so that's that's um how much it is for our particular cruise so that gives you a general idea. Uh, everybody's is going to be different depending on um, how long your cruise is and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to buy 
it right now, but we are going to get it. We're not ready to buy that yet. We got to have some money aside for that. So, and another thing I want to look at is short excursions here. <laughs> Tammy said, you should have told him that we are helping you spend his money. <laughs> Ms. O said the shampoo bottles are looking better. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is my agenda or my itinerary is um, Galveston, uh, Mahogany Bay, Belize, Cozumel, and then back to Galveston. Uh, what I'm going to do is go for first to Galveston just because I'm wanting to see what they show up. And as you can see, um, normally when you pick the first port, they will have uh, Faster to the Fun listed for you to pick if it's available. If you can see on this particular one, it is not listed for the first port. So uh, what we do have is uh, some airport transfers right there. Um, so you can see how much it costs in general, um, just kind of roundabout um, right now for this particular cruise as well. Um, we will not be doing airport transfers because we, uh, we drive to the ports. That's typically what we do. Oh, hi, Angie Pangy. Okay, thanks. Um, I appreciate you um, stopping in. We we're just going over the fun shop. I'm doing a little shopping and I thought, well, I might as well let other people look at it while I'm looking um, because that's what I'm doing is kind of like window shopping. Is It is, can't be window shopping for internet. So, so just <laughs> browsing, <laughs> browsing. Okay, so now I'm going to do Mahogany Bay. And if any of y'all have anything to add to what I'm doing or whatever, feel free to see here. Mahogany Bay, uh, row of 10, has the Jolly Roger Calamaran selling and snorkel with lunch. Now, we probably would not do a snorkel excursion um because steven uh doesn't swim um he'll get in the water but he can't swim um i swim and i'm a top uh top water swimmer um but uh, i don't think it would be worth it for us to purchase a snorkel thing even though i might enjoy it um i i think i would rather do something together that we both like um unless we're on a group thing and we split up or something that's different uh here we got the big french key island with water sports and lunch and if y'all see one y'all want me to deep dive in i will definitely uh deep dive for you Tammy says since we don't drink we're just taking our sodas and uh, we are going to row 10. So I'm just clicking on these uh, right here. The one I'm the most interested in is the sloths. Um, and we probably will not go through the fun shop for that. We're probably going to do, I'll show you guys in just a second here. But I, let me look on here for it and then we'll compare them. There's the extreme zip line. I think Steven would enjoy a zip line sometime. Um, that might be something he might like. Now, that would be cool, this little um, sea track helmet diving. That would be kind of cool to do if Steven swam and liked water more. <laughs> um, but uh, he's not big on that, so... But he did say he would like to do um, parasailing sometime. Uh, oh, that looks nice. That's pretty. I love what, looking at the stuff. Uh, there's the dolphin and swim. The, again, stuff like that. Now, this would interest Stephen. Stephen wants to do deep sea fishing, which I think he's going to do next year on the Sharon at Sea 
a group cruise. I think the guys are going to get together and do a big deep sea fishing thing. And I know Stephen's going to want to do that because he's like super stoked about it. And he's like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. But here's one right here, a deep sea fishing where uh, you cook it, cook your catch. That looks cool. I'm going to click on that. Yeah, we was looking at Victor Bolden. Uh, Tammy said, Victor Bolden allows to book with no money down. You pay when you arrive, which is nice. Since one excursion company, since one excursion company we prepaid went out of business, I'm waiting for my refund. Oh, well, I hope you get it. I hope you get your refund soon. I know they can take a while. Uh, this deep sea fishing is $144.99 a person, but there's a meal included. And uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, it scores 3.4. I wonder why I want to, I'm going to look at something here and do y'all, are y'all like me? Do y'all ever look at the reviews to see why something might've got a negative? Um, I do. I'm just going to look and see what they said. Oh, here we go. Let me read this negative comment. Now everybody's got an opinion. You know what that's like. I'm not going to say the rest of it. <laughs> But anyways, uh, don't do this. No one in the entire group even touched a pole, and there weren't enough poles for all of us anyway. The driver of the boat never spoke to us. I'm not sure he spoke English. The fishing guide was a 19-year-old kid who was nice enough, but he never adjusted for the fact that we weren't catching anything. He put the lines in the water, and then we sat and watched them for the remainder of our trip. This person must not fish a lot, because every time I've been fishing, that's pretty much what happens. I put the pole in and the line, and then we sit and wait, and it's okay. I'm okay with that, because that's what fishing is. Anyways, that's my opinion, guys. My opinion. <laughs> yeah. Right, take them with a grain of salt. Because they just got through saying that there wasn't enough fishing pole, but then he said he put the lines in the water and we sat and watched them. Uh, so, I don't know. When he reeled the lines back in at the end of our trip, several of our hooks were empty. No surprise we hadn't caught anything. Well, I mean, if you can you blame the fishing excursion for not catching anything? Because I I think it's just the look of the draw whether you catch stuff or not. What's y'all's opinion on that? <laughs> Since I was reading that review. What's your opinion? Can you blame the fishing excursion for not catching a fish? Um, I think that the fishing experience is about relaxing and throwing your pole in and seeing what happens. And I don't think you can blame them if you don't catch one. But that's my opinion. I'm just curious what other people's opinions are about that. I might need to refresh my chat because I don't see any opinions. <laughs> All right. Well, while I wait for those opinions, I'll continue on here. So um, I was trying to find the monkey, monkey and sloth. Thing. It might be on the second page. Um, because I wanted to compare this monkey and sloth excursion to the one that we're thinking about. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, I found it. So um, for me, I, I need the accessible um, because I do have a wheelchair and I use a walker as well. So um, that's important for me. Let me see. We got some uh, things here. I can only fish streams and rivers for trout. I don't have the patience for lakes, and I never fish the ocean. Instead of a fishing guide do all the work, they should have baited their own hooks. 
Yeah, I, I think if you, it depends on the type of excursions you choose. Um, thanks, Vizzo, for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I hope your meeting goes well. You sounded like you wasn't excited about it. So I hope your meeting goes well. Um, so here we have accessible Rotan, Monkey and Sloths, and Macaws. Now this one has 4.2. So the reviews are okay here. There's only a couple um, negative ones. Um, let's see here. It's an easy level for activity. It lasts for 3.5 hours. Interesting. Okay. Uh, your fun and friendly tour guide is ready to share their stories of Roatan or Roatan uh, in a wheelchair accessible air conditioned van. Experience Roatan's natural beauty as you travel in style. Hang out with monkeys, sloths, and macaws. Next stop will be the iguanas. Here you'll be able to feed hundreds of different iguanas in their natural habitat. Then take a scenic route for some sightseeing on the way to stop at small shopping center. Check out the various types of crafts only found in Honduras. More sightseeing follows as you make your way back to your cruise ship pier. Minimum of six guests required to operate this tour. Aww. You gotta have six people with you? What if you're not, you don't have six people? Meh. Meh. I'm sad about that because you have to have six people. That stinks. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I have to leave in about 20 to go clean out my classroom. They are giving me three hours to clean out five years worth of stuff. Griswold family, that sounds like a lot of work. Um, wow. Man, they should give you a little more time. That's not very nice. So we're going to look at the other one because I can't even do that one because you have to have six people. Well, here's one that might not be. Um, it's going to be me and Steven, but we, we're going with another couple. Um, we're going to, maybe we can ask them if they want to come with us to the thingy. I don't know. Let's see here. Minimum. This one doesn't have a minimum. I don't see... What's that? Okay, but this one isn't accessible either. Well, maybe it is. My wheelchair is collapsible, so... I guess you would have to call and ask them about... Um, if they would put your wheelchair on, collapse it or whatnot. So let's look at the other one. I actually have already seen that one and I saved it here. Let me see if I can find it. That's the other thing though. Finding stuff. Do, do, do. Give me just a second. It's at the bottom somewhere at the bottom here. Go down to the bottom here. Here it is. Yeah, well, this is the one we've been looking at right here. This Baldwin Tours. I'd already kind of been looking at this one. And um, they have several types, but this Fun in the Sun excursion sounded um, cool. So right here, um, look at how cute they are. Oh, I want to hold one so bad, guys. Look, they're so cute. They're so cute. Okay. <laughs> Calm. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm not going to read all this. I just want to kind of like highlight here. It's air-conditioned tour vehicles. Um, mm -mm. special bonus, monkey business. Okay, 
So this is what I'm interested in. You can visit monkey sloths, scarlet macaws, catamundi, parrots, deer, and other animals. And then there's souvenir shopping. Not enough time for the zip line unless you do the bigger one. Okay. The one thing I do know is you have to get there early if you want to hold a sloth. Oh. Tammy, what? You're doing the fun excursion. Oh, you're doing this excursion. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the one that I was interested in. Um, as long as I get to hold and pet a sloth, um, I'm going to be happy, though, no matter which one we end up going with. So here's the fun in the sun. It says here it costs $30 per person. It includes free monkey business access and banana rama beach resort access fees. Um, and here's what you were saying. There is no prepayment deposit for the tour. Payment will be in cash only once you get to the island. So you got to make sure you have enough for who you're with and cash. Reservations required. I probably need to hop on this and hope I hope there's availability. But um I'm gonna have to ask Steven if he wants to seal the deal on this one. Because we were also looking at there's that one, but then there's the private tour. This is the private tour. So um, if you do two guests, it's forty dollars per person. But we could possibly have four because we're going with uh, Sean and KC, and we'll ask them if they want to do it. But this one here, you get to pick from all this stuff, I'm guessing, and then there's upgrade prices for different things. But the main thing that me and Steve want to do is the sloth. So I think the fun in the sun is a better option unless Stephen wants to do zip lining and that I mean he might he might want to do zip lining okay welcome back Blaine um I can't do zip lining and probably wouldn't want to if I could <laughs> but if he wanted to do zip lining this particular uh deal here this tour looks like it's a better option because it says where's it at a mayan jungle canopy zip line you pay an extra 45 dollars it includes free sloths monkeys and parrots so 45 dollars it's 45 dollars includes so you would pay i guess you would pay that 40 per person and then pay another 45 dollars to do the zip line is my guess. So that would be something that he might be interested in. Horseback riding for him. He might want to do that. I don't know. Um, but all he told me he definitely wanted to do was the sloths. And um, I really, really, really want to do that. Happy haunting YouTube. They have a video on fun in the sun. Okay, I will do that um, in a little while. Uh, not on here, though, but uh, uh, after I'm off. Oh, look. You're cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at them cute things. They're so cute. I'm sorry. I get when I see the little sloths. The little sloths are so cute. They, they're like those. Oh, they're just adorable to me. <laughs> Also, um, you can also add like a little extra stop at the beach or something on this tour. It has a lot if you do the private tour where you can add things and this and that. Um, but it might be too much for us. So the fun in the sun might be the better thing. I don't know about the glass bottom boat thing. Let's see. Is it? There's some pretty pictures on here. So there's that. So um, do y'all have anything else y'all would like me to look up on Carnival or um, 
anything that interests you, you, let me know if there's a certain something that uh, interests you. I was particularly looking at Carnival today just because it's my um my next uh, cruise that I'll be doing. Uh, we are also going on NCL next year that leaves out of New York. Um, but I'm not ready to plan that one yet, just yet. But I am interested in these right here. Let's see. Another thing. Here's the specialty dining. Another thing is specialty dining. Because we really enjoyed, the last time we went, we did specialty dining. So I kind of wanted to look at that too. Ours is November 7th through the 14th. Um, and that's on Carnival Vista, leaving out of Galveston. So um, we're hoping that by then um, we might be safe, um, everybody be able to cruise and not be canceled or anything like that by then because it's November. Um, if it gets canceled, uh, we will probably end up taking the cruise credit and um, doing the... Um, one of the group things for the celebration and just using the credit for that, which is in um, 2022. So that's our plan. Um, I will probably want to do the chef's table. We were talking about that. Um, Steven said he wanted to try it and see about it. Um, See, I don't like that you have to, like, pick your date. Uh, reservation date will be... Oh, okay. Oh, I thought... Well, they used to have it where you had to pick your date. But they changed it, it looks like. So, the chef's table here. Um, me and hubby. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the cart because that's the way I like to do. And I like to look at it in the cart. Uh... So it's $190 for me and him. But it looks like an awesome experience. We've never done it before. And we both have talked about it. It says, treat your taste buds to the experience of a lifetime. Accumulate an scrumptious multi-course dinner hosted by Master Executive Chef. Your VIP experience starts with cocktails and hors d'oeuvres for a select group of 14, followed by a tour to see the main galley in operation. The evening concludes in a mind-blowing full-service dinner of amazing appetizers, entrees, and desserts not found on the regular dining menus. So, that sounds great. Um, eighteen percent gratitude will be automatically added. There will be twenty-five dollar fee for cancellations made within twenty-four hours of your scheduled shifts. Think of my mom. So we, if we just did those things, but I know we're going to probably do more than that. But right now, if we just did the cheers and we did the chef's table, it looks like. It'd be about $959 for those things. So, there we go. Let's see what y'all are saying here. Vista is an awesome ship. Probably well, Griswold Family Vacay says. You will love the two theaters on board. Yes, we've been on Horizon, but I hear Vista is awesome, Blaine says. IMAX and the screen screen. I say we will probably do um, those. Um, um, no elevators in the main area, just the funnel. Well, Stephen is stoked about that funnel thing. Hey, that's the main reason we wanted to go on Vista. Um, the ship is because of the funnel. Because Stephen, uh, he just thinks that's the coolest thing. And he said he's going to sit there and have drinks and look at that thing for a while because <laughs> he thought it was so cool. Uh, Tammy. Oh, wait, wait. I missed one. Blaine said, I love IMAX 
Carnival ships have they had it on? Oh, they had it on Horizon. I wanted to mention something. This was something I ran across that was interesting, and I don't know which was first. But in New Orleans, at the Horrors Casino, they have a big funnel thing that's like that. And I'm wondering, did Carnival get the idea off of Horrors, or did Horrors get the idea off of Carnival? I might look that up in the future, but uh, I thought that was interesting one day when I was looking at that. Uh, Tammy said that September 2021, we are going to Alaska. That's one place Stephen wanted wants to go to. And I have already scheduled our excursions. So we was able to pay this year's price. That's good. Uh, was able to buy whale watching for under a hundred dollars per person. That is an awesome deal. Like uh, that is great. So whale watching. That sounds cool. Have you been, um, Tammy? Have you been to Alaska before, or is it you know, like your first time going to Alaska? Uh, let's see here, Blaine. So. So I may have missed you saying this. Are you doing speciality dining? Yes, we will probably do speciality dining because when we went on our last cruise, the most enjoyable meals we had were sitting down and um, were the fancier meals. Um, I, because of mobility issues, I don't really enjoy the buffet. Um, it's just more because it's harder for me. Um, it, I'd rather sit down and have people bring me stuff. Um, uh, the cruise itself is already a lot of um, physical, for, for me, a lot of physical work. So um, we enjoy the specialty dining. And the, we do eat in the other uh, restaurant uh, MDR thing, too. Um, but the specialty dining is nice. <laughs> I, I like the La Cucina. I think it's called the Italian one. Um, I might go back and look at that here. I was just reading y'all's comments. Okay, Griswold Family Vacay, thanks for coming, and I hope you get your work done. Yeah, I just felt like getting on here and chit-chatting, and I was going to do this anyway, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, Tammy said it's going to be their first time going to Alaska to celebrate your 60th. Wow. Well, in case I miss it, I'm going to say happy uh, early birthday. <laughs> I might miss it. Uh, uh, the main dining room, like the steak. Yes. the um, These right here. Hold on. Oh, uh, let me find it. Specialty dining. Yes. Um, the main steakhouse. Um, I don't know if we'll do that one, but we're definitely probably going to do um, this. I'll go ahead and hit more details. Um, the Cucino del Capitano, um, because I like Italian a lot. Um, like a lot, a lot. Um and I've watched tons of videos, actually. The only thing I don't like about the way this is set up, I wish I wish you didn't have to pick what day you was going to do it on. I actually wish you could just go in here and say, I want to prepay for two people and then schedule it when it's closer or schedule it when you're on the ship. Because I don't like to pre-decide, like right now, like, I don't know right now which one of these dates we would be doing it on. So I'm kind of holding off on that. I've got to decide that. I don't like that. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh, See, so Blaine says, uh, I love the 555 Steakhouse in Del Capitano. Cucha del Capitano and Cucina. Um, Cucina is free at lunch in case you didn't know at any time it does cost at dinner. Yeah. Well, it's cheap. I mean, it's only $15. Like, 
shoot, we spent fifteen dollars at Sonic before a piece. <laughs> if you get ice cream or anything extra with your combo, you're gonna pay that. So I think that's like super cheap. Um, I like this idea too, this GG Asian kitchen. Um it's hard, like we would probably want to do all these. Uh we did the the Dr. Seuss breakfast um, the last time we was on the ship. It was very, you know, for kids, but it was cute, and um, the food was okay. It wasn't like, I didn't think that the food was the best for it, but, it. I mean, the breakfast was okay, but I'm not a big breakfast person, so I'm probably coming from just not liking breakfast that much. Um, let's look at the steakhouse here. So it's $38 uh, per adult. Enjoy steaks, lobster tails. All right. The only, like, the only thing I could say that I don't like is you have to pick your your time and date ahead of time and i wish i didn't have to do that but yeah we will probably end up doing those i just gotta decide because we're going with another couple um we're going with sean and kc in vacay mode oh did i accidentally uh no okay Anyways, uh, we're going with Sean and KC in vacay mode, and uh, I don't know when they want to, if they want to do any of these, so like I have to get with them and decide, but um, so Blaine says, Kachina is free, I already said that, Blaine said that we love going there at lunch, and we didn't have to pay, but we did go there at dinner, and that was nice. Um, well, let me go. Got a couple things to do. We'll see you at 3 Eastern in j and Travels if you can. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for stopping. I think, um, I was just kind of, like I said, uh, looking at that and thought I would share that with you. I actually uh, wasn't going to be on here forever. <laughs> I was just doing a little broadcast. And I actually surprised I've been here this long because I literally was just throwing it out there, you know. Um, but thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I'm actually going to um, close the broadcast off. And um, if you guys would like to, anybody that's not following me on Facebook, I think you all are. Um, I do have a Facebook group, though, that y'all might not know about that's um on my page there if you go and you join the group um people chat in there as well and also have a marco polo um for anybody that would like to do that um so y'all look at me on facebook as well and uh, if you want to chat when i'm not online uh you can even do marco polo or you can just message me on facebook and uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you for coming again. I appreciate everybody that come to this little chat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to drop the stream. Have a good day. And make sure that you laugh more and cruise often.